So most of us that have plants at some point or another have a problem with pests, whether it's like aphids or right now I'm having a serious gnat problem and my lemon balm plant is just like covered. Just whenever you walk over there, they kind of fly up and I have a cup of apple cider vinegar with like a thousand in there and it's disgusting and they still just keep coming back. So we're going to try to fix that today. Hey there, and welcome to the Botanical Journal. Did anyone know I changed the name before I said that? Let me know in the comments below, and also let me know what you think of the name. I'm really excited about it. So today we are going to be making a natural pest control solution spray repellent thingy. It's gonna be awesome. The main ingredient in our pest control solution is going to be neem oil. Neem oil actually contains a compound called as a Duractin, I had to look that up how to pronounce it, I'm still pretty sure I'm messing it up, so don't pronounce it that way, I mean, don't assume I'm pronouncing it the right way, you get what I'm saying. Anyways, it has a compound called As a Duractin, and As a Duractin disrupts the eating habits and also the hormones of soft-bodied insects. So it makes it so they start eating less and they stop laying eggs and things like that, so it just kind of wipes them out takes them out and I have actually had really good success with aphids that's the main pest that I've used this on so far but basically neem oil is a naturally occurring pesticide which to me in my opinion makes perfect sense to be a first line of defense especially compared to these commercial pesticides that probably aren't the safest you could at least try this out and if it doesn't work for you then move on from there but this is a great alternative and it's so easy to make, so simple. It only has three ingredients. So we have the neem oil, which has that compound as a Duractin in it, and then we will add a little bit of Castell soap to be an emulsifier because the third ingredient is water, and we all know oil and water don't mix. So that Castell soap will just help it emulsify and combine together so that they're not separating. And that is it, that is all it takes, and you can put it in a little spray bottle, spray it on those plants, spray it on the leaves. The roots of the plant will actually absorb the compound as a Duractin up into them, and then when the bugs are eating the leaves, they will be ingesting that. But you can also spray it directly on the bugs as well, and that's what I do, and it really works pretty fast. So let's go ahead and dive on into this. Okay, so like I said, we will need the neem oil. This is from Mountain Rose Herbs. We will need some Castile soap. If you don't have Castile soap, you can just use dish soap and it will work the same. And some water. And I also have this spray bottle. It's glass. It is about 16 ounces. You can adjust the recipe to whatever size spray bottle you have. And I don't think it matters if it's plastic or glass, but I'm not 100% sure, so you should look that up if you have plastic or if you're wanting to use plastic. Um, but this one I got at Target in the dollar spot for $3. I actually got like three of them because it was a really good deal. So I'm not sure if they still have those, but just so you know, that's where I got it. So I've got this little funnel. You don't have to use it, but I'm pretty messy when it comes to pouring things. So I'm gonna add that on there. And the first thing we're going to do is add a half a teaspoon of the neem oil. Then we're gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of soap. I could not find the eighth of a teaspoon, so it's gonna be about half of that, there we go. And dump that on in. Then we'll just fill the rest up with water. All right, this part's gonna be easier with just the <laughs> hole, so here we go. So once you have all of that in your spray bottle, you can just put the lid on 
Give it a nice shake. Now we can go see my poor little plant. So here's my lemon balm. I don't know what happened. It was looking so good. But I'm going to try spraying this on and I'm also going to try maybe getting it a bigger pot. I'm not really sure what happened. but So you can spray it on like the leaves. You can spray it on the dirt. Alright, so a couple things to keep in mind. The first thing is that you never want to spray this or even water on your plant right before the heat of the day um, because the sun will just fry all the leaves with that moisture on there and it will ruin your plant. So don't do that. Um, make sure it's like at night or when the sun's kind of like not at a really strong point um, of the day t hitting on your plant. And also for the application, what I was reading said that if you already have like pest problems to do it to spray it and apply it every seven days and if you're doing it as a preventative measure to do it every two weeks so those are just some guidelines you can try it out and see what works best for you and i really hope this does help if you have pest problems let me know in the comments below if it does i know it has worked for me with aphids so i'm really hoping it'll get rid of these gnat bug whatever things that are flying all over the place it's so gross and anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a great day. Bye guys.